Hello, welcome. Uh, take a moment, read the problem, and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. Okay, so what do we know here? We know that Judith puts 5000 into an investment account with an interest compounded continuously. Okay, so we're compounding continuously. So I'm thinking of PERT. PERT is, was a shampoo at one point, but uh, might still be, I don't know. Uh, but this word, PERT, helps me remember the formula for continuous compounding growth. So I think of A of T, where A is some amount you're getting, right, over some time T. It starts with a principal balance P, that's the amount you invest. And then E is the number we use to represent continuous growth. It's compounding over and over and over again, instantaneously, or as close to instantaneously as we can get. And R is the rate that's compounding at, and again, T is the time. So they're saying which approximate annual rate is needed for the account to grow to 9,110 after 30 years. All right, so we want to find what the principal amount will be. We'll say T is years, so I'll do 30 equals our principal balance that we don't know times e to the rt oh no we do know our principal balance what am i saying okay sorry so we know our principal balance is five thousand dollars so it's five thousand times e to some rate that's what we don't know we know it's 30 years eventually it's going to get nine thousand one hundred and ten dollars so we have to solve for our variable r. We have to solve for this value right here. How do we do that? First, I would divide both sides by 5,000. So we get 9,110 divided by 5,000. And that's going to equal e to the power of 30r, or r times 30, same thing. And then I'm going to take the natural log of both sides. And the natural log of the left-hand side here is the natural log of 9,110 over 5,000, it's going to be some number, and then the natural log of e to the 30r, that's just um, 30r, right, because we're trying to find, there's, the natural log here is the log base e, so we're saying log base e of e to the 30r, that's a fancy way of saying e to what power is e to the 30r, right? Let me show you what I mean. I mean, e to what power, question mark, is e to the 30r? Well, if we use a power of 30r, e to the power of 30r is e to the power of 30r. So this is just 30r. That's a 30. Okay. And that equals the natural log of 9100 over 5000. And r equals the natural log of 9100 and 10, excuse me, over 5000 divided by 30, and that is, for me, definitely a moment to take out the cap. Let's clear up everything here. We do the natural log of 9,100 divided by 5,000, and that divided by 30 gets us about 0.0199, which is 2%, about, which is choice one. All right, hope that helps.